Hey guys, Mike Chan. I'm here in the airport area of Singapore, heading to a restaurant that's not only open 24 hours a day, it also features the cheapest all-you-can-eat buffet here in Singapore. Let's go check out the all-you-can-eat Piranha Buffet. I love unique all-you-can-eat experiences, and this is definitely that. Prada Buffet, 16 different varieties, 790 Singapore dollars. So that is, at today's rate, around 550 US. The only uh, cheaper buffet I've been to is the one I found in Korea for about five won. I'll link that video down below if you guys wanna check it out. But here, 16 different varieties of Prada, plain egg, egg and onion cheese, masala, pepper, onions, econ, billis, strawberry, chocolate, pineapple, mushroom, banana, cheese, and mushroom, honey, and sugar. They give you a little pad to kind of write down um, which one you want. Let's try egg and onion, cheese, masala, pepper, and ikan bilis is anchovy, so let's get that. So all the Prada is cooked fresh, and uh, I asked for uh, sugar cane juice. They said large or medium. I said large. This is the large. <laughs> like, this should be labeled tub. This is a tub of sugar cane juice. What I love about this country, Prada, super fresh. Sugar cane, super fresh. Thank you, thank you. They also asked me which curry I want with my Prada. I don't know whether the curry comes with it or not. Um, I'll let you guys know afterwards, but look at this. Freshly made, deliciously beautiful smelling and looking Paradas. I've eaten Paradas in, in Singapore, of course, already. Each one typically costs around $3 if you go to just a regular Parada place. Does this come with the buffet? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, nice. Thank you. So there's your answer. It does come with a buffet. You can get a variety of curry as well. I got the chicken curry. You could also get mutton. There's fish. This is so pretty. Look at this. Prada's beautifully toasty on the outside. I can feel how soft it is. And it's paper thin. Look at this. This one on top, I think, is the egg parada. Let's see here. Oh, so hot. I think this is just a plain butter one. Like I said, remarkably thin beautifully toasty on the outside. And then dunk that into the chicken curry. Oh, this is so good. I love this place. What a value for what I'm putting in my mouth right now. Like I said, the parada. So thin. Get that slight little toasted crunch from the outside. Inside, mm. this thing's just a big softy on the inside. Mm. The parada is chewy, it's buttery, it's flaky. It goes so well with this curry. The curry is spicy, it's rich. It's got so much different aroma coming from it as well. This one's the Econ Billis. It's the anchovy, look at this. Little bits of crispy fish inside the parada. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Beautifully chewy parada. The fish definitely highlights the, the beautiful flavor of the parada and the curry. It just adds a depth of umaminess to it. Mm. I think that's the pepper masala. Mm. 
Oh yeah. About five seconds after it went down the hatch, I got a nice tangy pepper flavor on the tip of my tongue. It was very subtle. This I'm really excited about. I think this is the egg. This one's gonna be hearty. Mm. Eggs and onions. I love egg paradas. It just adds to the heartiness of the whole thing. Then a little change of texture from the crunchy onions. Oh, this is interesting. This is the masala parada. Inside some veg, potatoes, and carrots. A lot of different spices. That's my favorite by far. I'm so good, I want to slap myself. I'm already getting clobbered by all the masala that's wrapped inside this thin, delicious little layer of dough. Mm. The potato is so yummy and gooey. It's seasoned perfectly. That is unbelievable. I need like a bunch more of that. I think I like the egg, it's very hearty. I love that creamy, eggy texture in contrast to the spicy curry, but oh my goodness, that masala product. That's just so incredibly satisfying. Wow, I mean, the texture is perfect. I love the mushy potatoes. I love the additional spices and flavor it brings on top of this already amazingly delicious curry. All right, I am ready for round two. Let's go for another masala prada, a cheesy mushroom prada, chocolate prada, honey prada, and a fruity one. Pineapple product. I think the one on top is the honey. Good thing I uh, figured it out before I dunked it into the chicken curry. Mm. Oh, that is amazing. Especially the top part where it's nice and crispy. Look at that delicious honey flavor inside. Mm. That crispy parada just melted in my mouth into this delicious honey bliss. This is completely cover my tongue and overwhelm pretty much all my other senses too. Oh my god. Wow. It's definitely my favorite dessert product. I'm just trying to taste all of them before it gets cold. This one is the chocolate one. I think it's a Nutella product. This is really good too. I like the honey one better. I think the flavor of honey goes so well with the Prada. Mm. The only other new one to try here is the mushroom cheese Prada. This one definitely goes inside the chicken curry. Mm. I love that one. Oh, that goes so well with the curry because the cheese brings a nice creaminess, which completely balances out the spicy masala from the chicken curry. And of course, I got another masala product. I gotta hurry up and eat before it gets cold, though. See you in a bit. A few moments later. Um, probably ate about 10 paradas here. That was a very <laughs> solid breakfast. That is definitely a good place, especially for the value. Like I said, a la carte. These paradas could have probably run you about three, four Singapore dollars. At the last time I went to a parada place, I spent about 35 Singapore dollars. And today, under eight bucks. Also, people are super nice here too. So if you ever do come here, definitely recommend cheese and mushroom Prada. The masala Prada, so solid. Of course, 100% get the honey. I mean, everything is good. Those are just my top recommendations. I love value-driven, all you can eat, buffet experiences. This is one of the best I've ever been to in my life. I should explain where I am right now. This restaurant is called Wan Wan Mokata. They serve Thai food. What I'm about to eat is a Thai barbecue that looks, at least in photo, absolutely amazing. And supposedly their beef is what I have to get here. A bunch of chicken fat. This is for the grilling. So let me show you what's all included in this barbecue. So this is the smallest set. Chicken on top with sesame, sausage, fish cake, quail eggs, abalone, more fish cake, imitation crab, prawns. This is the price right here beef and this looks beautifully marbled with some peppers and salt on top. The chicken broth goes in, I'm gonna call this the molt, the flavor molt, around the barbecue grill. So as soon as the grill is hot, I'm gonna put the chicken fat on top so it coats the grill. There's no tongue, so I'm just gonna use the other side of my chopstick.
I'm trying to keep the ingredients on the middle, on the top of the grill, uh, but it's slipping, so this prawn is just like sliding everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a prawn into the chicken broth as well. Dip it in the chili sauce. <laughs> this is really, really good. Chili sauce, of course, extremely flavorful, super spicy and citrusy, but the chicken is very well seasoned already. Extremely well seasoned. I think a little pepper on here, a little sesame. Try dunking it into the red chili sauce. Mmm. Sesame is definitely one of their secret ingredients here. This red chili sauce is full of sesame. So it not only is spicy, it also has that really nice aromatic sesame flavor. Mm. That chili sauce almost have a creamy texture to it. They might have added some uh, sesame paste in here as well. It's just pure burning heat in my mouth. Their dipping sauce is amazing. The chicken is delicious. Wonderfully tender, it's beautifully seasoned on its own. Eating this, this is a huge challenge for me. Mm. Abalone is just perfectly sweet and snappy. Mm -hmm. Like I said, eating this is a challenge for me because I'm not a big fan of the heat. But it's pretty much a barbecue hot pot combo. Wild right side with extremely spicy dipping sauce. I've been cooked inside and out, but this thing tastes so good. I don't even care. There's definitely a hidden gem here in Singapore. I don't think a lot of people know about this place. Oh, they should, but be ready for a trifecta of heat. The arms is being bombarded. It's hot outside, I'm hot inside. It's hot here. Oh! What happened was I took the head off the prawn and all that great innards, the best stuff drizzled everywhere. I'm gonna push it into the broth. So my hot pot broth is more seasoned. Oh, that prawn is just so sweet, especially dipped in that chili sauce. I think I figured out the genius behind this chili sauce. I think there is some sesame paste in there, so it kind of tastes like a spicy hot pot dipping sauce. I'm taking off the prawn head and just putting the whole thing into the hot pot. Mm. Sweet, a little smoky flavor too. Let's try this grilled fish cake here. Oh, it's my favorite. Fish cake stuffed with cheese. Mm. The outside forms a deliciously light, crunchy shell, while the inside is delicate, it's bouncy, it's cheesy. Oh, that might be the best way to eat that cheesy fish cake. They told me that their beef is the best. So I got an extra side order of beef. You can already tell, this thing is deliciously marbled. Got pieces of fat at the end. And what's so good about the food coming off the grill as well, you get that delicious flavor of chicken fat in there too. And while that is cooking, uh, I add the vegetables into the flavor molt and just let it cook. Wow. I did not expect this beef to be this tender. If you told me this is Wagyu, I wouldn't doubt you for a second. Wow, that tastes like Wagyu. He just said it was a side of beef. He didn't say it's Wagyu beef. So I don't know if it's actually Wagyu or not, but it melts like Wagyu, has a texture like Wagyu. This is absolutely mind-blowingly good. Whoa. This thing is so juicy. And as soon as you bite into it, it's gone. So glad I got the extra side of beef. So this is chicken broth and all my little shrimp heads in there flavoring this up. And this dipping sauce. Mm. Even vegetables taste amazing. Throw on more chicken. You definitely get a lot of meat and food for the price you're paying. I mean, this whole thing is for two people. You charge us 32 Singapore dollars. So I'm thinking like 23, 24 US, you get a great variety of meats and seafood, vegetables, noodles, eggs. The most important thing, the flavor 
is exceptional. Especially that beef. Holy moly, this beef. You definitely need to get and order this beef. I gotta concentrate on this a little bit because I'm getting splattered. This shirt is history. I'll see you in a bit. A few moments later. Couple more things to try. The owner just brought over some Thai sausage from Thailand. So he said to throw this onto the grill. While that's grilling, instant noodles into the flavor mold. It's smoky, it's fatty, it's also sweet. Let me try the broth now. That's good. I just thought of something. You could actually stir fry your ramen if you wanted to. Maybe I'll stir fry a little bit. Just for some different texture. You gotta do this. A little more chicken fat, just to wipe the grill down a little bit. And then, drop an egg. Never cooked an egg with uh, chopsticks before. It's kind of working out. And then take the egg, put it on top of the ramen, and just let it run all the way through. A little chili sauce, a little red chili sauce with sesame. That. It's a delicious and fitting end to this awesome Thai barbecue meal. The flavors have completely steeped into the noodles. The eggs just adds that extra bit of amazing crunchiness. The chilies for some extra bite. Mm. Mm. This has been a very unique and delicious barbecue slash hot pot experience. Like I said, I think this place is a little hidden gym place. If you like hot pot, if you like barbecue, if you like delicious beef, come check this place out. Last stop of the day. Heard so much about this chain called Paulette. It's a French roast chicken restaurant. Never had French roast chicken before. So their chicken comes with three different types of sauces. A cream of mushroom sauce, cranberry sauce, or Diane sauce. Diane sauce usually is made with regular bacon, but here it's made with turkey bacon. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot less fatty tasting than a typical Diane sauce. So you know, just go for the mushroom cream sauce. So half a chicken, mushroom cream sauce. I thought the outside skin would be crispy as not. Oh, the outside skin is very delicate and soft. Look at this. Just using a fork. Whoa. Oh, this is very, very tender. Just using a fork, no knife. That meat just came off like nothing. Mmm. This is Trayvon. Did I say that right? Second grade French. Got sent to a corner for saying blue cheese is yucky. Thank you, Miss Lay. Wow. How could I have never tasted this before? It should be called the tender. One of the most tender half of chicken. And most of the meat I put in my mouth are white meat. It's so ridiculously soft. Mm. It's soft, it's juicy. The sauce is just explosive. I mean, it's creamy and mellow when it just goes into your mouth, but then after a couple of bites, the flavor releases that great earthy flavor from the mushrooms with the amazing herbs that's in here as well. Mmm. The skin is nicely roasted, a little bit of sweet flavor. You do not need a knife at all. Just take a fork and just pick this thing apart. I just found another one of my favorite things here in Singapore. And usually when you get a half a chicken, I, I never order chicken in restaurants. It always comes out dry or bland. I mean, if you wanna just pull this chicken apart, look how easy it is. This is nothing like that. Oh, been eating a lot all day, so I wanted to Go a little light. Brussels sprouts or sesame dressing. Interesting combination. Mmm. Brussels sprouts, when you cook it right, it's amazing. This thing roasted perfectly. You taste a little bit of char. The Brussels sprouts are nice and snappy. The seasoning is wonderful. I mean, you definitely want to open sesame your mouth to this. Mmm. 
The seasoning is creamy, a little sweet, so freaking aromatic because of all the sesame in here. This restaurant is delicious. It's one of the highest rated restaurants here in Singapore. Sometimes I don't agree with those ratings. I've been to a couple places that are rated incredibly well that I really didn't like at all. This is a good place. Mm. Got a dessert coming as well. Mango pudding is so good too. It's so light, little citrusy, sweet, juicy. This is a fantastic restaurant. I'm gonna come back and try some of their other dishes. Mm. Appetizer, main course, dessert. Oh, amazing. And as always, all the places I went to list down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.